Sa Vancouver, balik entablado ang Miss Philippines International of BC na tila pagkakataon para sa ilang Filipino-Canadians na baguhin ng mga misconception tungkol sa mga kababaihan. Kilalani natin ang ilan sa mga kalahok sa report na ito. Sabi nila na magpagojik daw ako and I wasn't too comfortable with that. So I want Filipinos and Filipinas in general to be comfortable in their own skin. Joining this pageant, uh, just using it to learn more about myself and to uh, continue the growth within me. And I want to be able to dive into, into my Filipino culture as well, since um, I'm a first generation born Filipina Canadian and I've only been to the Philippines twice. It's a wonderful stage that's been provided for us to actually represent our Filipino side and speak our truth. Ilan lang ito sa mga dahilan ng mga piling Filipina Canadian sa kanilang pagsali ng Miss Philippines International of BC ngayong taon. Balik entablado ang beauty pageant matapos ang dalawang taon ng pandemya at karamihan sa mga kalahok ngayon lang sumali sa isang pageant. Growing up, I was always told, oh, you have to be a certain talent, you have to you have certain standards and That's something that I didn't exactly agree with. I wanted to be able to represent those who didn't have a voice. I wanted to use that platform to be able to speak on mental health as it is, as it is still currently stigmatized in our community. Malaking bahagi man ng kulturang Pinoy ang beauty pageants, marami pa rin daw ang pwedeng matutunan para mawala ang mga negatibong paniniwala tungkol dito, kabilang ng pag-objectify o paggamit sa mga kababaihan. I had negative connotations attached to pageantry because I came from a very reclusive area. And, you know, beauty, I won't say it's a bonus, but it adds to the charm of what women are capable of doing. Women are not just on stage, you know, because I saw it as women being objectified, but these are women in their complete essence. So they embody achievements. I want to be able to show people that pageantry is so much more than the glitch and gra glamour. It's about the advocacy. It's about discovering yourself. It's about inspiring others to do the same. Pagkakataon din itong may bahagi ang mga isyong malapit sa puso ng mga kandidato at ang kahulugan ng tunay na Filipina beauty para sa kanila. Filipina beauty is all about hard, being hardworking and courageous and not being afraid to step out of your comfort zone. Filipinos are so resilient and strong, and I think that's where the true Filipino beauty comes from. Ang dating Miss Philippines at Miss Canada na si Adeline Cupino ang coach at director ng pageant. Nakatakda ang koronasyon ng Miss Philippines International of BC sa darating na October 29.